Hey guys, welcome to Parker's World. Hello, what's going on? What are we going to do today? So today we're going to do the Q&A. Okay. Yeah, we've, uh, we get a lot of questions yeah. on social media for us about things about our lives. And we thought today we would answer some questions. Lockdown has been extended here in Until Hilo Hilo. Hopefully, so, it's over soon. So, yeah, well, we so hope we it over. Up, we, yeah, we hope it ends soon, but it does mean that we can't travel mm -hmm. right now. So, we decided to do a Q and A, yeah. answer some of these questions. Some of the questions are questions that have been posed to us by subscribers and followers on social media. Yeah. Other questions are just questions that we saw other people answering, and we thought we'd throw that in the mix. So, here we go. Ella, where did we meet? And how long ago was that? We met on a party. We met in a party. Yeah. I how many years eye. ago? How many years ago? Oh. Three years. We almost, almost four years. Okay. It's going on four years ago now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was in July. Yes, July 16, 2016. 2016. 2016. Do you know the date? Yes. Wow. I didn't know the date. And uh, yeah, so she likes to tell this story that uh, you know she came in and she saw me sitting at a table with some oh, of my friends up, as she got all gushy and <laughs> that's not true that's not true he's, so, he thought he's really foggy oh, are you saying i'm not um, i married you so i guess you are yeah it must be it must be all right <laughs> yes yeah, so that was about almost four years ago how the time flies doesn't it sure does so kenny when did we get married when did we get married i better know the answer to this one yes. huh guys we were married last year on July 5th, and we got a civil yes. union at the mayor's office because we didn't have a whole lot of time to plan a wedding. Yeah. And, and it's easier than a church at that time. So well, it was, yeah, it was certainly a simpler process to get the marriage license. Yeah, and my father out. is not there. He we was wait, there. We wait for him. Right, we waited for him to get yeah. home. Because you cannot marry an American or or foreigner if you're 24 or below. That's right. You were 24 at the time. Yeah. And they wouldn't let you get married yeah. to a foreigner without your dad's they permission. They said I'm still young. Too young. <laughs> you were too young without to, to get married without your dad's permission. So that's, we wait. We right. wait for my father to come home. So your dad came home mm -hmm. from his job in Saudi. Yes. And... We, yeah, we had he, a, he gave you the permission yes. that we needed for us to get Which married. Which is really funny, when we went to the municipal, they just asked him, can you please uh, sign the documents? Yeah, they didn't even check who he yes. was. <laughs> they didn't so even it, check his ID. So and they didn't he, even check, so it could have been anybody. Yeah. My father said, is that how easy it is? Yeah. You could get married last month, if, you know? Yeah, that's right. If we know it. You could have just sent an uncle or something to yeah. do it. Yeah, that's right. But anyways, he was there, so that was good. Yeah. So we've been married now for, for almost a year yeah, coming up. Yeah. Well, half a year. Half a year. Yeah. Six months of bliss. It's probably more than that now. April. Me. Where ten months. Ten months. Wow. wow. Ten months. How ten. the time flies. It's magical. Marriage. You didn't know that we've been stuck in it. Yeah, that's right. We've been stuck in Hilo Hilo for, for last almost two months. Almost two months now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We should okay until we're. It's okay because we're safe. Yeah, that's we've got we've got thing. a nice little house that we've rented here, and we're comfortable, so that's good to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this next question on here, uh, this one's kind of a, there's a, a lot of answers to this one. What are our hobbies? So what hobbies do we enjoy? So what hobbies do you enjoy? We play a lot of games. We do yeah. like to play board games. Yeah. Board games. We play Magic, The Gathering. With friends. Card game with lots of cards. We like to play Dungeons and Dragons. We have a lot of uh, friends, co-workers that we play Dungeons and Dragons with. And maybe magic one day too. we'll show some. Yeah, I said that. We have. We do play Magic. That's right. But um, maybe one day we'll show some of our our teammates yes. for Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, it's a when lot of we, fun. When we can go back to China. Yeah, when we go back to China, we can yeah, maybe do a video of that. That'd be fun. And we like eating. We do like to eat, going to restaurants, yeah. And Traveling. Yes, we like to travel. We like traveling and yeah. We like sleeping. Sleeping. Everybody likes to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
I like so, to swim. Do you like swimming? I like to swim, but I don't know how to swim. Yeah, yeah. You just sort of bob around yeah. and, sp and sputter. Try to be look sexy and you know just take uh, photos. Look sexy at the beach. Yeah, you like taking photos of yourself yes. in front of the water yes, yes. or in the water. I see. Yeah. Well, that's so, a, yeah. So that counts. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the second, uh, to the next question. All right. So, Eleni, what's your favorite food? I like. Korean food. Korean food. So that's like a style of food. What's your favorite Korean food then? Samgyeopsal. Samgyeopsal. <laughs> so you like barbecue pork belly? I like barbecue yeah. pork belly too. Kimchi too. I like kimchi, kimchi. and uh, yeah. kimchi jjigae. Kimchi, kimchi jjigae. Yeah, kimchi That's good for cold weather. I don't know if I'd want it in hot weather, mm. but it's definitely good for cold weather. I okay, mean, so I that that's my favorite time, food I in a cold in weather. And then I will have a different food in the hot weather. Okay, so I want. Street food. What kind of street Balon, food? Balon, yisa, intestine, intestine. Intestines. You like that's chicken one of your feet. favorite foods. is chicken feet and intestines. And balot. And balot. Well, explain to everybody who might not know what a balot is, because we've but, got some non-Filipino, yes. non-Pinoy audience. So balot is the fertilizer. It's a fertilized chicken egg. Yes. When you see the little baby chicken. It'll have a baby chicken in it. And really good how many days does it take for a chicken to hatch? 21? A chicken egg hatches in 21 days? I, I guess so. I think it's 21 days. But I like the 15 days. And your favorite 15, is the 15, 15 days. So that thing is 6 days off of hatching. It's got bones in it? Yeah. You can taste a little bit. You can taste the bones? Yeah. You crunch them up? Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Masara. One day we're gonna make a video when Kenny eating my favorite food. I gotta eat, uh, so I'm gonna eat a balot and chicken feet. Yes. And the chicken intestines. Yes, you love me, Diva. Do you like chicken intestines or pork intestines? Chicken only. Chicken mm -hmm. only. Pork, no. Not pork intestines. It's quite big. So oh, my favorite. I, you know, I'm American, so I like the standard stuff. I like <laughs> hot dogs. Steak. Hot dogs with mustard, chili, and onions. I really like steak. And I like good pepperoni pizza. Really any kind of pizza, but pepperoni pizza. So I'm gonna stick with what about the the American, Asian, Asian food. American standards. My favorite Asian food, I like a nice like Thai curry. Oh wow, yeah, me too. Thai, Thai curries are good. Um, let's see, Filipino wise. Oh, well, more, more recently I've discovered that I really like bok choy. Oh yeah, I really like bok choy. So I'm like noodles, ilo ilo style noodles. Netongs. Netongs. Yeah, we're gonna have to go there yeah. again. No, we'll get to that later in one of the other questions. All right. So this next question is a question that I hear all the time, particularly from my father. <laughs> my dad likes to ask me this question a lot, and that is, when's the last time you got a haircut? June 2018. June 2018, so that was quite a while ago, so yeah. almost two years ago. But I always trim my hair. How much? Yeah, well, we do trim your hair just like yes. to split in. So yes. we did that not long ago, yes. a week ago. How much did you cut last time you got your hair cut? Like this. One inch. Only an inch? Yes. When's the last time you got, like, substantial length removed? Oh, I don't remember. You don't remember too long ago? Your hair's quite long. When's the last time I got a haircut? February? February 9, 2019. You remember the day, 19. so it's like a memorable event. Yeah, because... No, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah. <laughs> because that's the day before your flight to go back to the U.S. Oh, I got it before I went back to the U.S., yeah. that's right. We'll talk more about that, too, in a minute. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas, and why is Christmas your favorite holiday? Lots of gifts. You get gifts? <laughs> you got gifts? What did you get for Christmas this year? You got sunglasses? Yeah, I had sunglasses and my friend gave me a clothes. She gave me a shawl. Yeah, yeah, because it's really cold in China, so yeah, yeah. she liked giving me a, to make it, make me warm. Yeah, and we went on a vacation. Yes. Yeah. What? My favorite holiday is Chinese New Year <laughs> because I get like a month off of work for Chinese New Year, so it's hard for me to sort of compare holidays right now. Maybe. It, 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 you know, if I wasn't working in a place that used that calendar, yeah. it'd be a little different. But Chinese New, New Year, and this year for Chinese New Year, and really for Christmas, we went on to Bor Boracay. That was yeah. also part of our Christmas 
Holiday. celebration for ourselves. It was not until February, so it was a little bit late, but it's okay. Better late than never. Yes. And it's perfect uh, month to go to Boracay. Yeah, and that's true. Chinese New Year is perfect time to go to Boracay yes. or any sort of place in Philippines. Asia. Yeah. What is the most memorable event this year? So what was the most memorable thing that happened yes. to you this year? When we had a photo shoot. We had a print-up photo for our wedding. Oh, so we'll, we'll, right. Yes. So we're planning, or we had planned, to actually have a church wedding this, this year. year, this coming summer. But because of all of these lockdowns and everything else going on in the world, we decided it was best to just postpone it for a year. Yes. But in preparation for that, back in January, was it? Yes, January. We took some wedding photos. So we hired a photographer and we got all these wedding photos um, done. And it's memorable because you're sick at that time. and You, 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 you wouldn't remember it. it if I wasn't sick? You're sick. But you would still remember it if I, I did. I did remember it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but still, thanks to our photographer because he done a really good job. Yeah, yeah, the pictures came Soon out. Soon we're early. gonna upload our photos so you guys can see it. Where know. are you gonna upload them to? Here. The photographer made a slide video. Oh, a slideshow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can upload the slideshow. That'd so you cool. can have a look. Yeah. That'd be cool. What about you? What is your marriage? Well, you know, it's related to marriage, but not our marriage. My sister got married this year, and I officiated the wedding. So, so what does that mean? So Explain. I was like the minister who actually married them. You know, married them. I, I performed the marriage ceremony for them. So that so was really like memorable a, for me. Like a pastor? I just wore my suit. You know, I don't. I'm not. I don't have the little uh, collar that ministers. Do you have the Bible that you? I just had a little sheet of paper that had the the vows written on it. It was really nice. How easy? Oh, I did a great job. Everybody yeah. said so. <laughs> Wait. I, I know you did. I did. I know you. So where was the last place we traveled? Well, the last place we traveled was Ilo Ilo. Ilo Ilo. And we're still here. Yeah. So, but before Ilo Ilo, and, and it's kind of sad because we did come here for a holiday vacation. Because we want to see the old... Well, there's a lot of really cool architecture yes. and old churches here and, and lots of uh, natural heritage sites. And there's lots of things in Ilo Ilo and Island. And we Panay wanted to go to Island. Guimaras. We wanted to go to Guimaras. We the wanted to Mango, go to Garen Farm. We, there's a lot of places that we wanted to go and that we've been unable to go because of all of this... Lockdown. Stuff with the lockdowns, but you know, that Stephen. is what it is. Stephen, because we had to, we did eat some nettles. We did go, we did go get bachoy. Yeah. We did walk around the city some. And we what saw is something. the coffee shop? Madge's Coffee yes. or Madge's Cafe. Yes, we went. That's in La Paz. Um, market. La Paz, La Paz market, market, public market, La Paz. Mm -hmm. We we saw uh, Plaza Libertad. Yes, we did. Which is where they, the first place they flew the Philippine. Flag. Which is, I did not know we, yeah. before. Republic of Philippines flag was flown <laughs> there. So we did see some things before the lockdown began, but not nearly as much as we wanted to. Yeah. And yeah, and as we were planning on going to travel some more after the lockdown ends, but it looks like when the lockdown ends, we might just have to go home. Yeah, we want to go home to my but province. Before, before Iloilo, I was in the US, so I, that was traveling. And then before that, we went to Boracay. Yeah, with my friends, with our friends. Yeah, our friends came to Philippines and we went to Boracay with them. So that was fun. We ride a banana boat. <laughs> we did ride a banana boat, that's right. Banana we boat. sure did. Banana. Yeah. So, on that same token, what do we want to do after the quarantine? What do we want to do? Well, it depends on what's open. If things are open, and then I'd like to go see some stuff here. Like I said, I'd like to go to Garen Farm. Yes. If we can, I'd like to go see Guimaras Island. If we can, I'd like to maybe travel up the coast a little bit and see some of the islands. Maybe go to Concepcion or uh, Gigantes. Gigantes, yeah. But if we can. Really yeah, if we can. But if not, then... We'll go back to my province. Yeah, I'd just like to go to your province. And then we'll just... wait until when we can go back. Yeah, wait in China. the province till we can go back to China and get some 
housekeeping things taken care of there. So when you go on vacation, when you go on vacation, what type of destination do you like to go to? I like to go to the beach. You like the beach more than anything else? I like the old texture, like vegan. So you like cities that have a more uh, old, antique looking yes. facade to the buildings, yes. antique architecture. I don't like the, the cities. Don't like yeah, big cities. I mean, I like big, big cities for I like those things. big cities are good for like museums or restaurants. And I particularly really like going to museums and restaurants. So that would rank hot pretty highly. Like I really like Hong Kong for that because yeah, Hong Kong's yeah, got yeah. great I like museums it there and restaurants. A lot of food. Yeah, lots of variety in the yeah. cities. But I do agree that smaller sort of older cities that maybe still retain some of their colonial okay. flair, you know, like in Philippines, like Vigan, like you mentioned, okay. there's sort of a colonial flair where the buildings have been preserved. Even Iloilo has a lot we of We saw, Diba, we saw here a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of those mansions that were built uh, during the 19th century. Yeah, yeah, those are cool. And churches, some of those churches are really old, or at least the you diocese. You said 200. Is old. Yeah, some of those old. some of those churches are really old. Now they've often many of the churches have been knocked down by earthquakes and fire, and been rebuilt. But yeah, yeah, a lot of that stuff is really good. So uh, yeah, I guess so you like beaches, yes. and I like cities. Mm -hmm. You say tomato, I say tomato. I say tomato. <laughs> I say tomato. I say tomato. Uh -huh. <laughs> you don't okay. know that song. No. Okay. 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 Let's see. So, this if you could, if, if if the quarantine ended tomorrow, and there were no problems with visas, sorting out visas. Oh, Croatia. Croatia. Well, you know, they, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> read the question. Okay. Excited. If, if, if you, if the quarantine ended tomorrow. And you could travel anywhere in the world. You didn't have to worry about visas. You didn't have to worry about any of that. And you could just, you didn't have to worry about flights, nothing. You could just go there. Just be there. Croatia. Where would you like to go? You'd like Croatia. to go to Croatia. Yeah. Why do you want to go to Croatia? Because it's really pretty. And all the buildings too. Where did you, they do have a lot of old buildings. That's right. Yes. They, they, they have a lot of architecture from a long, long time ago. But Europe generally has a lot of that. They do have beaches as well. Yes, beaches. So Croatia has a lot of, how do you know about Croatia? Because of Game of Thrones. Oh, you saw it in Game of Thrones, yeah. And there's a TV show, Philippine TV show too. Oh, it was a travel show on Philippines. No, it's like a romantic. Oh, a romantic show. Yeah. Oh, romance. Yeah, they went so, to Croatia. Yes, they shoot there and I said, wow, it's really pretty. It is very pretty. I've never been there, but from the pictures I've seen, I could get on with that, going to Croatia. That'd be nice. But if I think for me, I've been to Vietnam before. But if I could go anywhere tomorrow, quarantine's over, I think I'd like to go see Ha Long Bay. Because I never went to Ha Long Bay. And I kind of regret not going. Why do you going. like there? Because, again, pictures and things that I've seen from TV shows, it just looks really cool with all and the, they have the rock pool. islands. And I like get, I like little boat rides, island hopping, boat ride type things. So. Yeah, you told me you like to live in a boat. You like to have a boat. Yeah, the problem is I get seasick. What is so it? I'm oh. nauseous. So I don't know if I could be on a boat all the time. But certainly just for short little things, I like it. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. I like their food. I've never been to Vietnam, but I like their food. Yeah. But what is about me? About me? About me? Yeah, yeah the sandwiches? Yes. Yeah. And, and the noodles. And the noodles? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. The food. Yeah, pho. Pho, yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. Well, I guess we have one last question. What is that? The last question is, so after China, we live in China now. Yes, we live and we're not going to live there forever, though. So when we do decide to leave China, if, let's say that employment isn't really an issue, let's just say that you could just find a job wherever equally as easy with the same pay or whatever. Yeah. Where would you prefer we go to live? Well, I have two choices. Two choices, two ba options. Yes. Bali. Bali. Or Thailand. Or Thailand. Yeah, those would be pretty cool. I mean, Thailand is a 
That's a doable place. Yeah. Because they both have a good beach. Oh, Malaysia too. Malaysia, yeah. Malaysia. I think I'd like to go to Japan. I've never been to Japan, but I bet it'd be Another a nice place to place. live. Another cold place. It's only cold in the winter time. They have yeah, four seasons. Still. I like hot weather. All the time? Yeah. It has to be hot all the time? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see. Well, yeah. we're still in China. We're in China for now, <laughs> and it's going to be cold there so, in the yeah, winter time. We still have one more year. Four seasons, hot, yeah. in the win hot in the summer, cold in the winter. Yeah. But they only have one month or two months for hot weather. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess it lasts a little bit longer than that. But the really super hot weather, yeah, it's about two months, July, August. But it's still quite hot in September. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's cold. In September? Yeah. Last time we went to Great no, no, Wall. No, 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 no. Yeah, it was hot. It's cold. It was hot. freezing. You mm -hmm. remember it wrong. So, okay, guys, thank you. Yep, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of video, <laughs> let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we might and we'll be able do it to do, again. And we can do more of these. If you didn't like it, then let us know so yeah. we know not to do this anymore. <laughs> uh, well, we just thought it'd be something fun for us to do yeah. because of this we whole... We can't do uh, anything. We can't go yeah. outside, so we got to do something. Yeah. So we thought this would be a good option for us. So Something about us? Please like Sub and share on subscribe, social media. Please. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. And we'll uh, see you next time on Parker's World. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.